this is the wildest ride Cedar Point has ever built. And when you think about all of the rides that are on this peninsula, I mean, that's a statement in and of itself. You're in for the best coaster in the world, this field engine. First hyper hybrid coaster in the world. We wanted it to be uh, aggressive, of course, and we thought that with the engineering capabilities of Rocky Mountain construction with Alan Schilke, that he would be able to deliver a smooth ride, but a relentless ride. At this length, the 5,740 feet, it's almost like the first part of the ride over the rail, and the next part of the ride is diving in and out of the structure. You kind of lose your bearings. You don't know if you're right side up, upside down, which direction you're going. It's a really long ride, but it doesn't slow down. It just keeps going, and it's, it's relentless, and that's what we wanted with the ride. You didn't want it to be long and drawn out and boring, right? We wanted it to be just keep pushing. When we got started on this ride and we said, hey, we got to make it taller. And it's like, well, how much taller? Uh, it's got to be over 200 feet. Shatter every record that you can. So getting that up above 200 feet at 205, a 90 degree drop, four inversions, 5,740 feet of track, which we had to work with, right? You can't compare it to any of the other RMCs because no other RMC is this long and this intense. This coaster is like in a league of its own. Credits are Rocky Mountain Construction for having this technology and bringing it back to the industry. It's not that every wood coaster needs this, but when you get this stature of a ride, you know, already at 165, we added four stories to it to get it to 205. In all the length, all of the massiveness of this ride, uh, I think people will want to ride it again and again. The biggest reaction when people get off the ride is kind of a what just happened kind of reaction. I, I couldn't take it all in. Like, I still haven't taken it all in. It's absolutely incredible. I've not screamed on a roller coaster like that in a long time. There's no words for this thing. We just rode it, and I just totally, like, lost my mind. It, the ride is absolutely insane. I love it. <laughs> I feel like I'm confirming to like everyone else what they're thinking, like having it as their new number one, and it, it probably is. It's definitely number one material. This was a great opportunity to seize the moment. We're right in the crosshairs of, of this great technology and Cedar Point needing something. And now, if you think about it, this whole area in Frontier Town has Steel Vengeance and Maverick, the dual launch coaster. That's a great one-two punch for a zone in the park. Most parks would love to have both of these rides, period. It's a really fulfilling you know, aspect of what we've been pushing for, and uh, we're very pleased with the ride. I always said my favorite was Maverick, uh, but right now if I had one, one ride, and could only do one ride, I would, I'd do Steel Vengeance. <laughs>